Welcome back. Welcome back. I recorded a really long playthrough of uh, CK2, but it's so long I don't even know how to cut it down. So if you've been wondering where I've been, that's where I've been. There's a guy in our comments who he constantly asks to play Liberia. And you know what? We're going to do it. We're going to play Liberia. Liberia is in the worst place uh, a country can possibly be in this game. You are uncivilized. Oh my god, your political party sucks. You're a puppet of the United States, so we can't even, like, declare war on people. So basically, we're just going to sit here. We're just going to sit here and, uh, and build up. Once the U.S. has invented state and government, we can become a, a free country. Well, that's cool. Yeah, we're playing vanilla. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people, they get mad at me. They're like, why are you playing vanilla, bro? And, you know, vanilla, it does, you know, have its shortcomings. I'm, I'm first to admit that it, whenever you play with mods, sometimes it's just too easy. Anyone can make a mod for Victoria 2 that, like, turns any individual nation into, like, just a totally busted, totally, like, broken, ridiculous nation to play. Okay, so yeah, so we want the Democrats in charge. The Democrats are way better than the Whigs. Whoa, we get a, we get a 15% research point modifier as Liberia. That is still kind of crazy. We can't declare war on anyone, so we want to go for these economic reforms. Ooh, ooh, what the hell? Alright. Yeah, we're getting this is a spectator game, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna be basically spectating. I'll try to keep you up on uh, on world affairs here. Oh what? <laughs> oh come on. What is this? Oh, okay. Okay, okay, all right. So we have the Colombian invasion of Liberia. This Whig party is literally the worst party I think I've ever seen. Wow, this is a nice, that's a nice Italy. This is what Italy should be. Oh, we can do the, we can do the thing. Yeah, we're free. Liberian research bonus, that's awesome. Play as Liberia, it, it kind of sucks. I'm not going to lie to you guys. <laughs> oh my god. You see in these pie charts, we have uh, socialists. I guess we really want the African Revolutionary Party. Oh my god, this is the party you want. Alright. Here we go. This is it. This is what we've been waiting for. We, ha we are like a real country now. We are not making any money. Let's see if we can't get the U.S. to fight a war for us. If if the U.S. is going to kill anyone for us, we really want it to be Vietnam. Oh my god, we got a lot of research. Actually, that's actually really good. Alright, USA. Go for Vietnam. You can do it, buddy. I believe in you. You can do it, America. I believe in the power of America and the power of freedom, democracy. These are the things I believe in. You got this, brother. This is easy. Easiest thing you've ever done, pal. Look at this AI. This beautiful AI. Look at this, this little soldier. Oh, they're killing him. Oh, my God. Oh, look at him. Just send the... Oh, my God. We did it. Holy crap, we did it. Look, we're in the green. We're making money now. This is this is better than I ever could have hoped. Wait, what happened to our... <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, let's see what happens if we have an election now. We got all these as colonial states. I don't know what happened politically. Conquering Vietnam changed everyone's political opinions. They're all liberals now. I don't know what that did. I don't... Someone... Someone who's much smarter than me can probably explain what happened there. All right, so now we got the the, the PAP, Pan African Party. Joseph Smith, you're in the wrong place, pal. Now we're never gonna get any part of Africa. We're gonna be an Asian empire, which is ironic, but you know what can you do? We're gonna have a real military with real guns. Yeah, socialism. We want socialism for sure. Oh my God, look at the voters' ideologies. Holy. It's coming up Millhouse for a little Liberia. <laughs> the U.S. would join, but we're not going to give them... We're going to... This is our first conquest. Oh, we got the communists in charge. 
Oh my god, finally. We can tax poor people now that we have the, the socialists in charge. This is the first the first victory of the of the Liberian colonial empire. Oh my. Look at that. Alright. And yeah, we can just show up. Say, hey buddy. Get out. Are you kidding me? Oh my. Grab a little Burma. Cheeky little Burma out of this, huh? Give me that. Give me that fitty. Ooh, okay. That's good. Give me the fitty percent. Just 50%. That's all I need, baby. 50%, baby. Okay. 50. 50%. Let's go. Six. You gave me that for six. Just give me Burma, brother. We're burming up. Rangoon. Crab Rangoon. Crab Rangoon is going to be a Liberian dish in this universe. Liberian Asia? Hello? Oh, my. Oh, no. The liberals. No. Ah. Oh, wow. So they, they're civilized. These Chinese nations. They're, they're civilized. Okay. We don't even have a pacifist party. <laughs> all jingoism all the way, baby. Oh. Oh, my God. We got them back. The socialists are back. And this time, they're pissed. Sindh is not in a sphere. They're allied with Kalat and Punjab. Punjab is in a sphere. We can't grab anything off of Punjab, but it, we might get uh, some prestige just for kicking their ass. I would really like to add a war goal, but that's just not going to happen. Look at these... Look at these factories. These factories are killing it. I knew they would. Hey, hey, hey. We got Kalat. And we can get the Temperance League. I bet the U.S. would help us attack Guangxi. This is just going out on a limb here. Guangdong it is. The USA will join. Okay, Americans are moving in from the north, too. Oh, we got it. We don't want a big China. We don't want a big consolidated China because a big consolidated China will come for us. Here's an idea. We take Southern Jili from China. We're doing that solely, literally solely because of this. Maybe we can get Shangzi in the future. This will allow us to get a gold province, which will subsidize our industry, basically. So we declare war for Southern Jili. The U.S. will accept... Yeah, their military sucks, too. We probably could have done this ourselves. Oh, wow. We got it. That's upsetting to me. They took Mongolia. It's deeply upsetting to me. We gotta liberate these Mongols, man. Holy crap. Are you kidding me? Monrovia is a third Chinese? What is this? Oh, my God. Have we really... Has this been occupied by anarcho-liberals the whole fucking time? We have, a, we have a fascist party? What's our fascist party like? The Socialist Party and the Fascist Party are basically the same, except the uh, the Socialist Party allows for full citizenship and the Fascist Party does not. Let's see if we can't grab Shaanxi. Doesn't look like it, brother. Point four, dude. That'll really get our industry freaking going, man. Okay, well, <laughs> we call it America, and they immediately peace out. All right, well, still. Dude, at this rate, at, this, at the rate we're going, man, Liberia, great power. We're colonizing Liberia. Can you believe it? And here we go. You ready for this? Oh, my God. It's a real Liberia. Let's try and do it on our own, on our lonesome. 300,000 people. We're eight. Oh my God, Liberia, great power. I couldn't make this up if I tried. I did not think that this was gonna happen this game. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's denser. It's certainly denser in Monrovia. Oh my God. Monrovia is majority Chinese now. I think, I think we should liberate Mongolia. Listen, the Liberian people, far too long, 
They have heard the plight of their Mongolian brothers. We will liberate Mongolia, come hell or high water. We haven't even occupied anything yet. We have not occupied, like, we have occupied a few provinces, like four. But they're already sending it over. I think we're gonna leave it here. I think we're gonna call it here. I think we've done Liberia justice. I mean, we, because from here it's about taking on the great powers. We're, we're the eighth great power in the world. We have a population of 22 million. Our own core pop is just 2% of our country. Look at Liberia. It's, it's not majority Chinese anymore, but it's still, I think, I think it's because people have been assimilating. I think people have finally been uh, assimilating into the, into the country. Also, the, the border gores god awful here our most literate province was monrovia <laughs> it's just a mahayana our most productive province was canton uh, comment down below what nations or games you want me to play in the future be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this anyway take care everybody